Okay, we're moving right along. We're now going to talk about the different layouts and uh, how you can implement them for when you're doing your work. So let's go. Okay, so when you open up Corel for the first time and you have your new document and it's filled up, uh, filling the screen. First thing you'll notice is this, is that you have your palettes to the right. This section that I'm talking about, these are called drawers, okay? And so you can create your own drawers. You can rename these drawers by clicking on this little gear on the side and various things like that, okay? Now you come over here, you have your toolbar on the far side. This is all of your basic tools, painting tools, all the way down to crop tools and different things like that. The top bar, we have um, a menu bar. We have a brush selector, which allows us to pick our brushes. Okay. So we'll talk about that in depth later, but this will give us our brushes. Then we're going to have our menu bar. And every time we pick a different tool, the menu bar will change depending on what it is we're using. Okay. And then here are some, uh, additional tools for allowing us to modify brushes. That's what these things are for right here. Now, let's talk about the layout. So that's what we really wanna talk about. So if you look under window and we come down and you look under layout here, okay? There are some basic layouts. We have default, classic, new to painter. These are all the things that you'll see in the welcome screen. So if we hit default, that's pretty much what we have here that is the basic default so let's go to the next one let's go to classic okay so the difference here is that you'll have a navigator on the top and then also if we come over here we have this additional uh, uh, tool selector which will allow us to access gradients and nozzles and different things like that okay let's go to the next one new to painter I do find this to be pretty handy for anyone who is new to painter because it's pretty much like the default palette but the difference is you're going to get this drawer that's going to give you your brushes and then also what it's going to give you are these hints underneath here and it's going to help explain uh, how some of these brushes function and and how you would use them so i do think that's very helpful for someone who's new to painter um, if they come, if they, Corel introduces a new brush set uh, that uses a new engine, um, it's useful to, even if you're an experienced user of Corel, to be able to look and see how the new brush engine is going to function. So that's another one that's really good. So go window, layout, and then we have simple. This is going to be a stripped down layout. Really stripped down. Okay. You'll see the toolbar looks slightly different. This is really minimized for anyone who doesn't want to have a lot of uh, palettes and different things up. It's up to you which way you do it. Um, then you could go right down here. We have illustration, fine art, photo art, manga art. Okay, so you can just kind of toggle through here to see which one you like. Um, but let me just kind of go to photo art for a second. You're going to have a slightly different layout but what I want to point out is there is a drawer here that will allow you to manipulate photography and apply painting filters on the photos. And so that's why this palette is going to be readily available to you if you decide to choose this layout. If we jump right down, well, let's just go ahead and let me show you manga art as well. Okay, so you'll see the brush selector is sitting outside it's not sitting up top uh, you'll have some of the tools that you would use uh, on a regular basis like command Z uh, it's up top as a tool is undo you have save file uh, brush calibration everything's pretty much laid out here for you so let me go back to what I typically will use which is default and let me just show you one other thing here in this window, under this layout, you'll see that they have a quick switch. So what you can do is you can 
designate, let's say layout one to be set for, let's just have it simple. And then layout two as default. Now you'll see there's a toggle layout. So what this will allow you to do is switch back and forth between, let's say two of your favorite layouts. Now, what I will point out as we go deeper into the program, I'm gonna show you guys how to uh, apply keyboard shortcuts. And let's say for example, this toggle layout, this is something where I would typically apply a keyboard shortcut so that I could hit a, you know, whether it's command, let's say F, D, whatever I choose. Um, what it's gonna do is allow me to toggle back and forth without having to come up into the window uh, menu bar. So now let me just go ahead and show you fine art. And let's just go ahead and make it complete. Since we went this far, it's not gonna, it's only gonna take us a second. Okay, so now that with this new layout, what it's giving us is essentially thick paint, real bristled oils. All of these things here are gonna be brushes that are specific to painting in a realistic manner. Um, stuff that feels like traditional paint. This is gonna give you all of your brush settings, controls, readily available to you as you're painting going through the process. So let's go ahead and move on to the next modules and I'll show you how to customize and save your own layouts. If you're new to digital painting tips and you found this tutorial helpful, don't hesitate to hit the subscribe button below. Um, definitely hit the bell so that way you'll be uh, caught up to date with any tutorials I drop each week. So um, in the meantime, have a good time, keep painting, uh, and juices.